So now you're probably thinking that you probably need to create maybe like hundreds of blocks to fit like all the different sizes that you need for the different doors and maybe different windows. And you'll see later on, we will also have furniture. We're going to use a lot of blocks actually throughout this course. Um, but you're, you're probably thinking like, wow, like this list can get pretty extensive pretty quick. So AutoCAD actually did something cool. And there's uh, another feature in AutoCAD that's called dynamic blocks. So dynamic blocks actually, instead of us creating multiple like instances of the door, uh, like the one we created so far, we have to, but we can go on and make like another 12 maybe with the different variations. But there's a dynamic block that comes shipped with AutoCAD. Uh, and that block actually allows you to modify the size from the same instance without modifying the rest of them. And that's the next thing I'm going to show you. So first, let me show you how to access the sample libraries of blocks that actually comes with AutoCAD. To do that from the blocks window, we're going to switch to right under here. So we are under blocks. And then we have the, the tab that says blocks and current drawing. We're going to switch to the third one that says blocks libraries. Then here you're going to see like it doesn't show anything. So basically all you need to do is just to click on this arrow right here and then go to sample libraries. And that will load this list of libraries that already come with AutoCAD. And the one that I want us to focus on, and we're going to use like multiple blocks from it, is the one called Architectural Imperial. So to open it, we're just going to double click. And then it's going to load it. And then we're going to see uh, a list of the, the blocks that already come with it. So here you can see we have like a window elevation, a door. Uh, I guess this is a light, a stud, a toilet, some trees, some vehicles and then like a window floor plan view. Uh, we're gonna use the toilet trees in the vehicle later on, but the one I wanna focus on first is the door. And I think this is one of like the nicest blocks uh, ever made. And it's amazing that already comes with AutoCAD. Uh, that's the one we're gonna be using uh, for the rest of this course. So to insert it the same, we're gonna click insert in drawing, and then I'm just gonna place it somewhere here. Uh, let's say somewhere here, okay? Uh, it jumps a lot, but that's fine. Uh, so one thing I wanna note, uh, if you see like all these uh, blocks, they do actually have like a little icon, like an electrical icon or something beside them. And that means that this block is actually a dynamic block. So it has additional features to it. And you'll see right now, I'll select this door. And then you will see that it looks like it's a block, but it has multiple controls. Uh, let me actually get rid of these and then move this one. I'm going to move it from this corner and move it to here. Uh, and then let's select it again and look at it. So this one has like multiple arrows, as you can see. Uh, and these are control points that like allow you to do like the dynamic things that I was mentioning. Uh, and one of them is actually this arrow right here, which allows us to control like the swing and how open the door is. So for example, right now by default, it's set at 30. So if we switch it to 90, here you go, boom, it will switch it to 90. And you even have the option to show it as closed. Um, I don't, I've never used that, but anyway, you know, it's there. So I'm going to switch to the 90 and use that. So that's the first option that comes with this door. Uh, and then I'm going to also, I'm going to make another instance of it. So I'm going to copy it uh, and then just insert it here. And then I'm going to rotate it just so we place it uh, properly. And then I'm going to move it here. So uh, I was saying earlier that this one, even though like we're modifying like how open the swing is, uh, it's only controlling this particular instant. It's not affecting this other block. And that's the beauty of dynamic blocks where you can just do, like you can modify each one of them independently, but they're all still a single block. And this door in particular, I think it has like different, like maybe 24, 25 different variations of a door. Uh, and you'll see in a second why. The next thing we can do with this door is actually control the width, which you can see from this arrow. And when you hover over it, you will see right now the value is two feet six. That's the default. I'm going to actually push it out. And as you can see, it will jump to the next like standard size. So two feet eight, then three feet. And then there's also three feet four. So I'm going to put it at the three feet because that's the size we're going to use for the entry. And then I'm going to mirror it. And then boom, now we have this. So the width, again, let me select it. So we can go as low as two feet. Uh, and as 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 up like as wide as the three feet four. The problem with this door here's some of the limitations is that it only has these standard sizes. If you want to go even like smaller doors or even wider doors, this one is not gonna it's not gonna do the job. But it's again it's a huge time saver. And now let's move on to the next command that we have with this door. The next one is basically the flipping. 
So we can like flip the direction of the door. So instead of using the mirror command, you can actually click on this arrow and it will flip it to the other direction. And then there's also this arrow. Let's say we want to open this door to the opposite direction. So here we go. So it will flip it uh, horizontally and vertically. And now we have this. So this one, I'm just going to move it. So let's actually start using it. I'll modify this. It's going to be two feet eight. We'll put it at 90. And actually, I do want it to open. Actually, we can leave it to open here. Oh, you know what? I think I'm not going to place a door here. We could actually leave this open like this. Um, but essentially, um, but essentially, back to this one, I'm just going to leave this one like right here. Uh, there's one more thing I do want to mention about this door, and it's this control right here. So this one actually controls the uh, uh, the wall thickness. So by default, it's set at five inches. So I'm just going to modify it to six inch. And I think it goes down to four. So four, it has five, and then six, and boom. So I'm just going to modify these particular ones just because this door is in, on the exterior. So we're going to have that. And then these ones, we will replace them. Anyway, I'm planning to have sliding doors here. So we will draw that in a second. So now I'm going to go ahead and add this door everywhere that we're going to use it. So I'm going to delete the ones I created. Uh, they were pretty nice and everything, but I did want to show you like, I wanted to show you how to create regular blocks first. And then now we are exploring the dynamic blocks. So this one, I do want it to open to the opposite direction. And then I'm just going to copy it. Uh, you can skip through. I'm just going to add like all the different doors real quick. Uh, and then, uh, and then like basically we'll move on to the next we'll talk about how to add like the sliding doors and how to draw them i just want to do this one here so this one we have it here let's insert another one okay like this and then here and then we're going to flip it and i'm going to make it uh, 90 degrees open and then we're going to copy this uh, once you have it like it becomes really fast to just copy it everywhere almost like right here right here Okay, and let's delete this one. So this one, because we have two doors that open from both directions, I'm gonna only make this open at 45. And then I'm gonna mirror this to the opposite direction, like to the other wall. And I'm gonna do a mirror based on a 45 degrees and that should place it, uh, I'm not gonna erase, and that should place it perfectly like on the other wall. And we keep going with the doors. So I added this one here. I can add a door to the walk-in closet, but I think let's just leave it as an opening. Let's make sure this is two feet eight, so this is looking good. So I'll just copy this. Let me see any other doors we have here. Okay, not, not that many doors actually. So we only have maybe the master, master bathroom door. So I'll place this here. I can actually, I do wanna flip it to the other direction. So now we have this here. I do wanna want leave the walk-in closet open. Then we're just gonna copy this door. And we're going to add like the master bedroom door. Maybe we could have made it bigger, but I think it's still good. Um, other than that, we have all of this here. So now we're going to add the closet doors. And then I do want to add like some sliding doors. So now let's talk about the sliding doors. So let's focus on the closet first. Um, so the closet, I am it's six feet wide. So the way I do the sliding doors, is, it's pretty straightforward. I'm just going to do... Uh, uh, like a polyline and draw a rectangle. I'm gonna do 32 inches, two inches, then here, and then close back the polyline. And then I'm just gonna slide this down to the middle point. And then I'm gonna copy it from here to here. And this is how I like to represent the sliding doors. And then I'm just gonna copy this uh, from here to here. And then I'm gonna do the same actually for the backyard, I think that's what I'm using here. Let me double check the width. So it is six feet. And here the difference is I'm planning to do like a glass sliding doors versus like the uh, versus like the wood sliding doors I'm imagining for the closet. And then here, uh, I'm thinking we add like French patio doors. So we will copy these guys and then we will rotate them. So I'll copy from that corner and then I'm gonna rotate both of them here so this is like going to be facing the dining area and it opens outwards then we're going to draw like a little bit um like of a patio here and some here uh, and i think we added all the doors i do plan to keep the foyer open here and here and this one to be open and then the only thing left is the garage door so the garage door i think i'm just going to draw something very basic i'm just going to do like a wide rectangle um so let's do 
So I, I will do a rectangle actually. I will just slide up from this point like two inches away and then I'll start the rectangle and then I'll go back to the middle point and then I'll just like move it here. Uh, and then I think I'll add just like, I'll just add like uh, like simple dash, dashed line to represent that this door open like this. And then here, uh, this is how I've seen like doors like open. I've, I've learned it specifically from Revit and I think it's pretty cool. Uh, and then these lines, I'm just gonna make them basically, I'm gonna switch their line type like to dashed just to represent that this like opens and rolls. And I think we are done officially with the doors.